Hey guys, Gunrex here. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how to uh, make cinematics in the Unreal Editor. Um, figured I would just make a quick tutorial on how to do it. Uh, this will be a two part tutorial. So this is part one. Thanks and enjoy. Alright, uh, so let's get started here. Um, first of all, we're in the Unreal Editor, obviously. Um, so you want to go up to File, Open. Um, in the Gears of War folder, you go into War Game, Cooked PC, Maps, MP Maps, and then uh, you pick the map you want. Uh, I'm going to go with Canals, which uh, is actually called Shallow in the Unreal Editor. Uh, some of the maps have weird names. They're not really what they are in uh, like Xbox 360 Gears and stuff, so you might want to try to open each of them maybe and uh, uh, play around, figure out what each map is called. Um, okay, so this is opening... Okay, um, so that's is opened. Uh, you see you have your four windows here. Um, you can move those around, obviously. Um, I like to just work in this one, so click the Maximize Viewport button. Um, then you can look around in here, stuff like that. Okay, um, I'm not going to explain movement and stuff right now. Hopefully you guys know how to do that. But, um, yeah, okay, now you want to go to View browser windows oops browser windows generic uh actor classes at the tab and double click camera actor uh you can just close out of that now and then you want to right click on the ground and select add camera actor here um you can move the camera around obviously up and down left and right but actually it's easier you click this little eye up here click on the camera and then you actually see what the camera sees. So if I move the camera up here, uncheck the eye and zoom out a little bit, you'll see the camera is actually there now. Click it again. Uh, let me keep it. Okay, um, now I want to set my initial camera. Uh, we'll set it about here. Okay, then you're going to go up here and click this little K. It says Open Unreal Kismet. Uh, you'll see right here, this thing says Random Ambient Audio. This is just, uh, Kismet is the programming language for um, UE. Anyway, uh, you want to right click over here to the left and hit new matinee and then double click on the matinee window and uh, this opens up. We don't need to have Kismet anymore, but this is the matinee window right here. Uh, this is what allows you to um, edit stuff and make cinematics. Uh, this little red thing right here selects how long the cinematic is. I'm going to make it, uh, let's go with six seconds for this. Then you want to make these green bars go as far as the entire length you want the cinematic so there's that then you're gonna go over here to this light gray area right click and hit add new group it makes interp group uh, you wanna right click on interp group and click new movement track so with that you wanna move that key all the way to the beginning and then go up there and hit add key uh, it will add a little keyframe there and then next what you wanna do is you wanna scroll forward in the timeline a little bit more uh, hopefully you know what keyframes are um, okay then you're gonna click here and uh, generally it's a good idea to right click maybe and then we're gonna zoom all the way over here and then go back into matinee oh sorry make sure the movement track is selected click add key adds a keyframe there and then if you click this camera icon right here you'll actually see what the camera sees oh that camera got messed up let me try lengthening it no shortening it that yeah, still didn't help. Okay. Oh, maybe. Yeah, double keyframe. Okay, so I need to delete that. Watch out. Sometimes you get two keyframes. It can really mess things up. Um, and two keyframes on the same spot. I'm not even sure how I did that. But uh, I'm going to scroll forward to two seconds again. And then move to where I want my second camera. Let's go here. Okay. Then once again, add new keyframe. Then you can see... That's the path that my camera is taking, so that's good. Uh, then I want to make another one here. All the way going up here. So once again, just move it and click Add New Key. Um, then I'm going to go through this hoop here. Okay, then I'm going to come out through it. And, uh, ooh. Those are parts of buildings I don't want to see. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Let's delete that. Uh, delete that. Okay. So back here. Let's, uh, 
make a keyframe going yeah spin around and go down and click add keyframe oh, hold on if I zoom in here add keyframe again so then how does that look yeah it looks good okay um then we're gonna add another keyframe here scrolling all the way down to the base of the bridge this is basically you can select wherever you want to put for your camera you don't have to follow this exactly this is just how you go about making your cameras um okay let's watch this whole thing now oh that's not good i went through the bridge okay um stuff like that actually happens a lot just go back through your keyframes try to delete ones that seem like they're messing with it all um actually i'll get rid of that one and that should fix it yeah okay there we go except for i don't like that little spin so we'll get rid of that try this out here Alright, that looks better, but I think I'm going to add a keyframe to that. Yeah, but once again, like I was saying, um, you can really do whatever you want for these, whatever you think looks good with the clips that you have when you're making the cinematic. Um, okay, then you want to right-click over here, hit Add New Director Group, select Director Group, and then go to the beginning of here, and uh, hit the Add Key button, and select Cut to Interp Group. Um, and then if you click this camera, you can see that it's basically the same thing. Uh, director groups come into play when we are actually triggering our cinematic. Um, so, okay, we got that. Uh, I'm going to open up Kismet. Actually, I uh, don't need to go into Kismet yet. Um, so I'm going to go over to a spawn. Uh, I'll explain why in a sec. That's for triggering. Oh, um, actually... Uh, running out of time here soon so we will handle handle triggering in the next video uh, so part two hope you enjoyed part one and uh, hope this helps uh, see you in part two